beat us. Um, what made you guys stop on Andre as an opponent for, for Benavidez? I think it's a great fight, by the way, but what made well, you we, guys go that way? Well, I mean, we had a, a lot of discussions um, without, you know, giving away too much. There were morale discussions. There were Munguia discussions. Um, Munguia discussions didn't go very far. They, you know, they were not interested in Benavidez at all. Um, you know, I think they're focusing on Berlanga um, for whatever it is. So, look, we've always said along the way, at 168, you can put any of these guys in, you know, whether it's, you know, Charlo when he gets to 168 or Benavidez or Plant or, um, you know, or Andre. And so, you know, look, it's, it's, it really comes down to what's the quickest and easiest and best fight to make immediately, and that looks like it's going to be Andre. Should the winner be in line to face Canelo Alvarez? I, I think so. I mean, certainly that would be a signature win for you know anybody there. Um, and I think whoever wins in a Benavidez Andre fight has probably got the best case for the next Canelo opponent, 168. Okay, guys, thanks. Eddie, Eddie Reynoso said that uh, both Charlos are in line.